your favorite fan activation is back. Also here at the Marrakesh Ibri, we obviously have the E-Race, the chance for our fans to race against the big stars from the Formula E grid. Once again, we took the four fastest fans, and they will go head to head against four of the Formula E drivers. Five laps, same track as us on the real E-Pri, so it's a tough, tough challenge, and it's all done for one of the caps you can only have at the podium of one of the Formula E e -Pris. So. A lot to go for, and I'm pretty sure that the guys have a great grit for today's race. And I will not even let you wait further. I will actually bring them up on stage. So please welcome on the stage one of the fastest fans. Here is Midi. One out of four. That means we need another three of our fans. So please uh, welcome. Here is Alice there. And next up, another two to go on the fan side. We got Mohamed. Last but not least for our group of fans that will go head to head against our real drivers, here is Shakir. These four, they will go up against the real Formula E stars. So a tough, tough challenge. Not an easy race. We saw how crucial it can be to get through turn one. And one of the drivers from the Formula E side that wants to win here in the E-Race, here is actually Idiaro Motara. Next up, a name that's definitely known to everyone that follows Formula E for so, so long. I mean, this is not season one anymore, right? We did that a lot. So here, please welcome, it's Jerome D'Ambrosio. Also returning to the E-Race grid and going head-to-head -head against his fans is Oliver Turve. Last but not least, a newcomer to the E-Race, but not a newcomer to the podium on Formula E anymore. Here is Maximilian Günther. They will do five laps on this track, and it won't be easy. I said that so, so often, but it's crucial to get to turn one and actually make sure that you not crash the car. So I would like to talk to Alistair first. I will go down here. Hey, man, you're all right? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, do you feel comfortable with actually winning this one? I have no idea. We'll find out in five laps. That's, that's the right attitude. I, I wish you all the best, I'm pretty sure. I always want the fans to win. Everyone who watches the E-Race knows that. I'm really a fan of fans winning, because that's way cooler. So head over to Jerome. Jerome, E-Race time. Are you well prepared? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Any special tactics for this one? No. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the first corner. Yeah, I heard already. First corner is always a lot of chaos. Over to our uh, newcomer. I will, I, will, I will go to this side, probably. But I will go to that side. That's fine. Max, guten Tag. Alles gut? Yeah, alles super, yeah. Thanks. I, I thought if Massa always does it in Spain, we just do it in German over here. It's your first E-Race. How do you feel? Uh, cool. Looking forward to it. Any, did, did you try already? Do you have any experience? From last year, I drove it a few times, but this year, uh, not yet. So I'm interested to see how it goes. All right, I voted for your fan boost already, so I wish you all the best for this one now. And I think we get underway and onto the grid. So it's just a few seconds before we start into the Marrakesh E-Race and e pre. Let's see if we got on the countdown already. Yeah, everyone is on the grid. We're just waiting for the lights to go black, basically, or green. And then we start into turn one. Turn one is a long left-hander. So it's a bit different to what we normally have, where it's often a very tight turn to go into turn one. There's a bit more space, but it also means more space for chaos. So let's see if the guys can behave and get into the first race. Will it be a fan coming out of turn one? Or will it be an actual Formula E driver? There we go, we got the red light. We're soon starting in there, it's green. We're going into the E-Race here in Marrakesh, down to turn one. Media is currently in the lead, Alistair second, Shakir third. Let's see if he comes out turn one. While still leading, that was a big slide right, right there. Everyone going out to the corner. I think he slightly overshot it there. Midi is already out of there. That was not lucky at El Torve, currently in the lead. Gunter on third. And let's see, Mortara is on fourth. So it seems like they're running pretty well right now in terms of the actual Formula E drivers with Torve leading. And I think it's also, yeah, it's Jerome D'Ambrosio in second position right now. So player six, just for everyone to know. We're on board with him right now. He's chasing down Oliver Turve, basically on the back stretch. Let's see if he can catch up and close that gap. Under breaking, look at that. He won, won a lot of time. Ooh, that was some cheeky cutting right there. And then he crashes it. And look at it, Brogio going through. I mean, 
using his muscles there and getting it done. Oliver Turbe down to second. Quickest fan right now is this young guy. It's Alistair on his way to a podium, maybe in a Formula E E race. Not yet in E3, but maybe that comes later, who knows? So Jerome leading, Oliver Turve in second, and it's Alistair and Maximilian Günther, the BMW youngster, with now a win uh, on his statistic board from this season already. Oh, he was in fourth, but now it's Idolo Motaro who overtakes everyone. Look at that, Alistair going through. Quickly cashing up Turve. Turve no chance to defend there, but under breaking Oliver is a lot quicker through that left turn. It is a long turn. It's, it's very uncharacteristic for Formula E, e races. Let's be honest here. Like two long left-handers. Basically, the next one following right after the slight right bend. There's a lot of space, a lot of space also for mistakes. And Alistair having that slide again. Same for Oliver Turve. But it seems like Alistair could come out on top of it. No, he doesn't. The Neo car goes through. Alistair down to third. Maximilian Günther up to fourth again. So Mortara dropped onto fifth. All the way in the back, Shakir Mohamed and Midi. I definitely need some, some support for Alistair. That's for sure. Alistair once again trying on the inside. Not breaking late enough to do it. So not much to actually pass in there. So can he get it done? Mortara now locking on to Maximilian Günther. We saw already both can race. Oh, Günther not really good out of that corner. It seems like Mortara can actually make the move here on the outside. Günther under breaking a bit late there. Tap to late, slightly touching the wall. And Smort Eduardo Mortara going through there, getting position number four. So he's doing a great job here, catching up once again. But it's not an easy call. So many things can happen here. Left three out of five. So we're halfway through. And it's still Jerome D'Ambrosio leading in front of Turve. And then it's Alice there. Alice there once again. It's still him and Turve. Oliver Turve is basically everything that Alice there can see on the track. Once again, a small slide that could give a chance to our fan to catch up. The gap is definitely a bit closer now. Slip streaming down the straight. Maybe can do a move into the chicane. No Turve. Great on defensive line here, making sure that uh, Alistair can't find a gap to push his car into, muscle his way through, just like Jerome did against Oliver here in the E-race. But it's not over yet. Once again, very aggressive into that 90 degree left bend. Turve touching the wall. That's the chance for Alistair. The fan goes through, goes up to second position. Maybe I can actually get a fan to win this one here, but now he would need to catch up to Jerome D'Ambrosio, and he's not slow at all. He had been in control of the race for the entirety of it, basically. It's now lap, nearly lap four out of five, and no one ever saw Jerome since he took over uh, first position from Oliver Turve. Let's see if Alistair can actually close that gap once again. Turve more sliding. A bit uh, over track limits, I would say. Those are the white lines left and right, guys. Just. In case FIA needs to remind you, you can't really go over there. But look at that, Turby has already a huge gap here to our fan Alistair. That's uh, the young guy in uh, seat number two. And that's currently also in second position. It seems like Oliver not up to the challenge here to uh, keep on to the rear of our fan. Losing ground every now and then. Might even get unlucky here. We could see Mortara catching up to him and then the battle would be on again. So not an easy task here for him to secure a podium in the E-Race. It's not, it's not yet as big as the E-3, but I'll tell you, a win in the E-Race always feels good before you go onto the real grid. That's for sure. There we go, Jerome. He's still ice cold. Look at that. He's basically looking like a Sunday drive. Yeah, smiling into the camera. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should just touch his wheel and crash him into the wall, then Alistair would have a chance again. But that's how a winner looks like, going on to start, finish straight again, starting his last lap. Jerome, he's so used to winning, seems like he can do the same in an E-race. It's final lap. Last chance for Alistair to close that gap, and last chance for Motaro Gunter to actually close up to Turve and maybe snack one of the podium positions here. Let's see if they can do it. The gap is still big, though. I quickly checked over at the screens. It's not like they could see each other. And Jerome is still in total control, ice cold, going through the chicane. No mistake at all. It seems like he really practiced. I, I would like to check if Jerome has too much free time and races a lot on those rigs because he's really, really good. He's smiling now. Yeah, he knows that. Every single minute he probably does this or on his phone. Who knows? 
Once again, no, no touching the wall. Everyone else has touched the wall left and right, and Jerome is just absolutely clean here. And it seems like he will bring home the win on the E-Race, but we have a fan on position two. Ellis there, still strong, still trying to run best he could, but it seems like he can't catch up to Jerome here. D'Ambrosio way too quick now, super clean, tight line, that's it. He comes on the start, finish straight for the last time, and he's winning the E-Race here in Marrakesh. Jerome D'Ambrosio taking the win, and right behind him, that is Alistair, our quickest fan, second position for him. Down the line, then it's Turve who closes up the podium for the guys. Whew. What a race once again. Look, I got the cool cap. That's the cap they get. And you only get it on the real podium over at the Ypre or here in the E-Race. And this time we actually also get to sign it. Alistair, second position. Jerome D'Ambrosio, you won. I will give you that. Could you please sign it real quick for our winner? That would be great. How do you feel? Yeah, it was good fun. I had a good race with um, Oliver and that was uh, but then Jerome was gone. So yeah, it was good fun. You have a lot of time to play these games. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thanks for attending once again. Alistair, great job. Awesome race. That's it with the E-Race from Marrakesh for the E-Pre. We'll be up next.